the 18th tee. Sandy Lyle, we're in the third hole of sudden death playoff between Jeff Sluman and Sandy Lyle. Rain continues to hammer down. And again, Sandy Lyle has chosen a one iron. I did not believe it would reach the 18th again, Pat. I thought it'd be over by 16 or 17. 440 yard par four. That's a tough one. And going right to left and just take a take off. That'll be better than his first time around. Well, they both birdied it that first time around to force this playoff to finish at minus 14. You know, you, you look at Jeff Sluman missing that putt, but what's going through your mind and what's, you know, what the reward is, it's, it's difficult, believe me. But I'll tell you what, he hasn't lost his tempo and swing and composure. Look at this. I'm really impressed with it. Really am. We'll be back with more golf action from the Tournament Players Club after this word from your local station. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 Minutes, followed by Murder, she wrote. And then the CBS Sunday movie, A Stranger Wait, starring Suzanne Plichette. It's all tonight on CBS. We are in sudden death at the 1987 final round of the TPC. Sandy Lyle and Jeff Sluman walking up 18 for the second time today. They both birdied this hole to set up the playoff, which began back at 16. As we previously said, there have only been four birdies all day long until these two came up and did it. One by Seve Ballesteros and one by Fuzzy Zeller and then Sluman and Sandy Lyle both got it done. Jeff Sluman is 196 from the hole, but today the, the hole is 100 feet back from the front and only 12 feet from the left side with a deep bunker on the left side. The shot that Sluman hit here first time around, Pat, was just, I mean, that was a brilliant shot. Brilliant putt by Lyle when he made the long putt for birdie, but I, it's a shame to see, as Ben Wright was saying in commercial to us, is that Jeff was so ready to make the putt at 17 and the guy jumps in the water and he had to back off and lost his composure and, you know, of course we'll never know what will happen if he didn't do it, but I'd have to believe the way Ben did it that he had a pretty good chance of making that putt. Sluman has 196 yards, Lyle 195, Sluman just about ready. He parred the hole Thursday and Friday. Bogey did yesterday, birdied today. It's not wasting any time, four iron. Turnover. You gotta go to the left, look out. Look out. Hang out. That is not a, it looks easy on your screen, but I'll tell you what, there's a hump there and that is not a very easy little chip shot. At this stage, nothing is easy. Lyle will be next. Now he's only one yard ahead of Sluman and, and uh, Sluman hit a four iron. I would think that Sandy Lyle was strong as he is. He's now debating whether five or six, I'm sure. He's gone four, 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 and then the birdie today. His indecision right there is between two clubs, whether I hit a five or, what do, or do I hit a big, big six. Still hasn't decided. Still hasn't. No, he's in he's indecision right there. That is right in that spot where you better make up your mind when you take the club. I would think, you know, we can't get the club. I would think that he's now looking at hitting a hard six. Take a look at the club, maybe. I heard someone say it's all over, but it's not. Well, they're together off the tee, and they're together on their second shots. Still only about a yard apart. Like two boxers, they're just waiting for someone to make the first move. So we're in sudden death at the TPC. Sandy Lyle and Jeff Sluman. And they're playing their third playoff hole. We're in the third hole of sudden death, the playoff between Sandy Lyle and Jeff Sluman. They're back at 18. They started at 16. 
If it continues, they'll go back to 16 again. I'd like to make one statement as you at home watching this uh, program. It is not that light out there as you see right there. They might get in one more hole, but then darkness is going to certainly be a factor. It might be already. With 16 being a par 5 and taking some time to play, there's be a decision whether they go to 16 after this uh, hole. The good thing about it is it's not far away. It sort of runs parallel to 18. Think they'll both make four? I just got a feeling that uh, one of them is going to take three to get down. They would finish tomorrow morning if they didn't finish today. It looks like, it looks like that uh, the other ball's away, but it's not. It's just the way the pitcher is. Sandy will be first to play over the ridge. Whoa. Oh. That doesn't, that did not look like a difficult chip shot unless you get down and where you can see it. He had the hump to go over. He was uphill. It's fast. It goes away from him once it hits the hole. Uh, it's not a good chip shot from where he was, but uh, it's, it's not that easy as you think it looks here. He wants to just clear the fringe about maybe with a lofty club about five, six feet and let it feed itself down to the hole. All he wants to do now is get it close. I'm going to tell you that those two are not your best effort right there. The first time that any one of them has really made a very bad mistake. Actually, their putts are not that much different in length. No, I think Jeff Sluman is a little more away. Jeff, I tell you what, he's close to, he's over 10 feet, 10, 12 feet. I would say 12 feet minimum. Well, he'll be first to putt. Let's see, one, two, three. He took four good steps to get to the hole. What's that time three? I don't know if you're five seven. <laughs> no, <laughs> this depends how big your steps are. <laughs> yeah, we're laughing and he's down there. They're sweating blood and we're laughing. I don't understand that. Of course, I think first in wins. This will move a little bit to his left. I tell you what, one thing about Jeff Sluman, he doesn't waste any time. He gets it loaded and pulls the trigger. Wait a minute, there's more golf left. That's right. He, For him. He's, that's distorted on your screen. That putt is over three and a half feet. That's as a good three and a half feet. Now Sandy Lyle lining it up to win. Is that an easier putt? I would think so, yes. It, it, it comes down the hill. You can feed that one a little bit. The other one, he was coming up and then over the hill. He has a, an easier putt. It's a little left to right. He can't give the hole away. Jeff Sluman had to come up over a little bit of rise and then it slips down on him. But this one here was just a constant little bit of downhill, not much, and just a little bit left to right. Here's a good look at it. Watch out for this. Watch out for that. It looked like it had to be. A rejected Jeff Sluman and a great victory for Sandy Lyle. And that 10 year exemption that goes with it down to Steve Melnick. Sandy, congratulations, a tough win. Well, it's never easy to win sometimes, and we've had a great day today. We've, Jeff and I have had a battle out the last four or five holes, and the playoff as well. It's been, it's been good stuff. When you started the round, did you have any particular thing or thought in mind that might carry you through the day? Uh, just not blow up, really. <laughs> that was the main thing. <laughs> just have a good start. We'll just start off with a bogey, but uh, I held it together reasonably well and made a few birdies and you know, went, went to sleep for a little while, but all in all, I'm quite happy with the day. Sandy, congratulations. Dean, once again, another good one. Oh, wasn't it great? I'd like to have an opportunity just to hand this for Sandy. Congratulations. Just great playing. Well, what can one say? <laughs> Um, I'll see you next year.
Sandy, $180,000 and a 10-year exemption. Well, that sounds very good to me. <laughs> All right, Sandy. Sandy, congratulations. Sandy, congratulations. Pat, it's up to you. All right, Steve, thank you. We'll be right back. There is this year's TPC champion, Sandy Lyle. And with the weather god shining on us better than we thought they would, we were really lucky to get this tournament in. We were. For many times, he didn't give it any chance today, Pat. But as they say in golf, every shot makes somebody happy. And I'm sure that Jeff Sluman will think about the putt at 17 for a long time to come. Next stop, Augusta and yeah. the Masters, Kim. We look forward to that always. Always our favorite. For our CBS announced crew, then, this is Pat Summerall saying so long from the Tournament Players Club in Jacksonville, Florida. Tomorrow, it's the battle for the national title, the NCAA Basketball Championship Final. That's tomorrow.